Hi everyone, we wanted to provide you an update. This is Friday, October 23rd. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with the National Weather Service. Still looks like the first precipitation potential for Southern California since late June, and also a significant Santa Ana wind potential. That looks like it's coming in Sunday night and Monday. Here are the highlights. The first rainfall of the season potential, scattered to mostly light rain and drizzle through Sunday and then showers lingering into Monday along and behind a cold front. We're looking at moderate onshore flow, that's winds coming from the west for this weekend, mainly affecting the desert slopes and passes. It'll also go down into the desert floor with some areas of blowing dust. We're going to see a rapid transition, looks like Sunday night to moderate winds coming from the north with that cold front. Locally strong gusts developing Sunday night and especially Monday for areas in the Inland Empire and surrounding mountain passes. Looks to be a moderate Santa Ana wind event but locally strong for areas affected by north to northeast winds such as the Cajon Pass for Monday. Winds will decrease Monday night and Tuesday but we're also going to see rapid drying on Monday and very low humidity by Monday afternoon and especially on Tuesday. Then we'll have a rapid warming trend for midweek with much lighter wind. Here's the concern for fire weather. Fuel moisture is all-time lows. This is fuel moisture, live fuel moisture and dead fuel moisture. And even if we do see some rainfall, these fuels take a long time to respond. And in some cases won't respond at all. So this is what we're looking at for fuel moisture across Southern California record dry. A fire weather watch has been issued for the potential of red flag conditions. On top of that a high wind watch has been issued and that's for higher impact possibly tree damage, possibly high impact to vehicles across the Inland Empire such as I-215 and 15. Primarily that looks to be any time on Monday starting very early Monday and rolling through Monday afternoon. So, a fire weather watch is for red flag conditions, very dry air, low humidity, high winds, and the high wind watch is for the impact potentially to tree damage and vehicles and transportation across the area shaded on this map. What's causing this? Well, we have a big battle going on. The persistent upper level high pressure in the eastern Pacific is not going anywhere. We have a weak weather disturbance coming in that will first kick up the winds on our desert slopes this weekend. But more importantly, directly from the north, a cold pocket of air storm system diving directly north to south towards California. It will look like this on Sunday and Monday. The storm system carves across the Great Basin, Nevada and Utah, and part of it pushes into Southern California as shown here. It'll start to slow and dig as shown here, so that'll back it all the way into Arizona, and that will give us the potential for those strong winds on Monday. It also gives us the potential for some showers as we go into Sunday and Sunday night. So a very sharp gradient of cold air and warm air causing the wind and also causing the chance of precipitation in our area, Southern California. Okay, here's what it looks like when the Santa Ana wind sets up. This is pressure gradient at the surface, so high pressure builds over the far northern Great Basin around Wyoming. Strong, tight gradient there you see with the arrow, so wind blowing north to south across that region. Then by Monday, it pushes down towards Southern California. That's when we feel our Santa Ana wind as that high pressure scoots on by. Now after that it looks like things settle down and we have a benign weather pattern, rapid warming trend for middle of next week as shown here. Here are some of the specifics. So we're looking at even some wind making it to the beaches, especially in Orange County. Some of our coastal cities will see wind and for these areas it looks like the wind will be primarily on Monday. Now our inland valleys will also start getting some wind, primarily again on Monday. Inland Empire, your wind will start to increase over the weekend, but your real noticeable impactful winds look to be on Monday 
that's when we could see some wind gusts even in our inland empire cities like Ontario around 50 miles per hour. Our high deserts will see wind throughout the weekend but notably it will shift Sunday night and Monday morning to the north and remain gusty. The lower deserts, well, so you're going to see wind throughout the entire weekend. That'll be an onshore wind. Winds coming from the northwest and going through the Coachella Valley and into the Borrego Desert. Now some of your strongest winds look to be on Sunday and also possible on Monday where we could see some gusts in the windiest spots on the desert slopes around 50 miles per hour and even stronger wind in the mountain passes such as the Banning San Gregorio Pass. Now the foothill areas, it looks like those areas won't see a lot of wind probably until Sunday night and Monday and that's with the Santa Ana wind. So watch out for that wind potential in the foothills especially on Monday. Our mountain locations, you'll see west winds picking up this weekend with gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour across the ridges. Now it does look like through the Cajon Pass those winds could be up isolated 70 miles per hour in the Cajon Pass and that looks to be on Monday. Good news is much lighter winds unfold on Tuesday. So keep in mind the strongest winds look to be along the San Bernardino Mountains and into the Santa Ana Mountains and we'll see lighter but still windy conditions in the San Diego Mountains. So for this upcoming weekend, the winds will increase from the west onshore. Looks like our mountain passes will be most susceptible in some of our desert slopes as shown here. We'll see widespread wind gusts in those areas shaded in yellow of 35 to 45 miles per hour. And again, that's Saturday all the way through Sunday. All right, here's a look at the Santa Ana wind potential. Note where the arrow is pointed. That's where we think the strongest Santa Ana winds coming from the north northeast will blow through the Cajon Pass, affecting Interstate 15 and 215 all the way down into Orange County Highway 91. In that corridor, wind gusts could reach as much as 60 plus miles per hour. Now, even some of our Inland Empire cities, wind gusts near 50 miles per hour shown here. Now elsewhere, it still will be breezy across the San Diego Mountains and even the Coachella Valley, uh, but not as strong. So the highest potential for wind with this Santa Ana wind event Sunday night and through Monday looks to be through the Cajon Pass and into Orange County. Now the winds look like they will decrease quite a bit Monday night and especially on Tuesday. Now breezy conditions will continue over most areas along our foothills in San Diego, Orange County, as well as Riverside, with some of the stronger wind shaded in yellow still gusting to 40 miles per hour at the foothills of the San Bernardino Mountains through Tuesday morning. Speaking of dry conditions, so it looks like humidity will really bottom out on Monday, rapidly lowering on Monday as shown on the left hand side. On the right hand side it looks like humidity will be at its driest point for most areas on Tuesday. So we really have two days of very dry conditions Monday, Tuesday. Here is a look at the amount of rainfall we're expecting. There's still high uncertainty with this, but a lot of light rain and drizzle is expected with a better chance of scattered showers late Sunday into Sunday night. Most locations a few hundredths of an inch, but the first rain that we've seen since late June. Now some of our mountain areas Still high uncertainty, but those areas could see more than a quarter inch of rainfall. Thanks for tuning into this weather briefing and stay tuned to the latest information on any watches, advisories, and warnings issued at weather.gov San Diego.